welcome to the Ski Club Snowcast. Coming up this week, we've got the next in a series of our skiing tips, a little report from Teen, and more of that lovely snow news. First though, there are some new skiing technique videos on Ski Club TV. Darren Turner, who's based out in Sir Chevalier, has teamed up with a late media to produce an exciting series of apps and instructional videos. An ex-England ski team member, Darren has a Basie Level 4 qualification, is trained in both the British and the French systems, and also instructs on our Ski Club Fresh Tracks holidays. A great exercise to help you achieve that is to take your hands out of your straps, hold your poles about halfway down, and put the handles together, making a nice arrow. Now put some smooth turns in, keeping that arrow facing directly down the hill. Start on a nice easy slope, but it's going to be a really good guide for you to keep those arms in front and keep that chest facing down the hill. Registered users can watch a selection of his videos on Ski Club TV. Visit skiclub.co.uk forward slash sign up to start watching them and hundreds of other videos right now. If you want to find out more about Darren and the apps, visit skischoolapp.com. Time now to find out how the snow's looking. Here's Ollie. Clear skies throughout most of Austria allowed skiers to benefit from fresh snow earlier in the week. Many resorts were able to open more terrain as they gear up for the busy Christmas period. Many resorts in France open this coming weekend, including Avoriaz in the Port de Soleil. Conditions are great for this time of year and more snow is expected. Chavinia in Italy is almost fully open and the links with Zermatt are open too. The resorts in the Dolomites are also enjoying great conditions. In Switzerland, Sam Naun in the Silvretta ski area is in great shape with about three quarters of its lifts open. You can now ski over into Ischgl where conditions are equally as good. Over in Canada, Blue Mountain opened on Thursday and Kimberley is set to open this weekend. The popular resorts of Fernie and Whistler both continue to enjoy great early season conditions. In the US, there was 20 centimetres of fresh snow at Heavenly in the Tahoe area. The low temperatures meant that snow fell right down to the lake. The skiing and boarding is excellent throughout the area. Finally, in Scotland, low temperatures combined with clear skies have made for a great week in Cairngorm and further west in Glencoe. One man who's been enjoying the recent conditions is Snowcast regular Andy Brown. He sent us this report from a very snowy team last week. Well, hello from Teen. Uh, as you can see behind me, there is snow everywhere. It's right at the start of the season, but if you've got a holiday book, you are laughing. Uh, we got here a couple of days ago, and we were ready to say there's snow everywhere. And since then, we've had, it must be half a metre to a metre. We've just had a brilliant day out in the mountain. Uh, we've got Snowworks showing us around and uh, showing us what they do with their all-mountain courses, uh, which has been really beneficial, especially when it snows like this, because you can take on any terrain and, and any snow conditions. So that's been great for us. It's given us a real insight into what they do. Uh, also in Teen at the moment is our leaders course, uh, so potential leaders for the next 5-10 years are doing their training course which they'll either pass or fail uh, and this again is the perfect conditions to test their skills. Uh, so we'll leave it there, uh, we might pan around and show you a little bit more of this snow but as I say it's good news at the start of this season and apparently it's going to snow for a few more days like this. Uh, so see you, we'll see you soon. Thanks Andy, and to Snowworks for having him. Now last week, El had some excellent advice on how to keep your body warm on the mountain. This week, he's focusing on hands. A common complaint is cold hands when you're skiing. We've covered buying gloves in another skiing tip, but what else can you do? Well, electronic gloves have come on a long way in recent years. They're a lot lighter and provide better performance. But they can be expensive. So single-use hand warmers are a good option. You get multi-use ones as well. But think about what you're eating and drinking. Making sure you're well hydrated and eating well will ensure that you do stay warm throughout the day. You don't want wet gloves either, so dry them properly overnight. And if it's a leather glove, don't bung it on a radiator where it can crack. Just throw it somewhere near the heat. Also, think about other bits of skin that are exposed, especially your head, so you're not unnecessarily losing heat. Thanks, Al. That's all we've got time for in this snowcast. Next time, the last episode of 2012 will be coming from the mountains. To find out where, make sure you tune in next week. Until then, bye! bye.